Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Commander's Crypt. Uh, we're coming to you live from Waikiki, Hawaii. We just happened to uh, be here chilling at the beach, and uh, I decided to make another video. This bay right here is the actual bay that they filmed the boat steaming out for Gilligan's Island. So, if you watched my other video on Ish and Two Heavens as One, that video was more of a budget type of build. I'm going to get into the more advanced combos and builds that you can do with Ishin. Ishin Two Heavens is one, one black, one white, one red. If a creature attacking causes a triggered ability of a permit you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So there's all kinds of little shenanigans you can do with this commander. Uh, you know, he's actually kind of growing on me. When I first, uh, you know, was thinking about it, 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 I wasn't too excited about this deck, I, I have to admit. But after I started playing with it, and um, I, I, I'm really starting to like it. It's, it's, it's actually way stronger than I, I thought it was going to be. So uh, it's very good. It's, it's very good in a, in a lot of, for a lot of reasons because it has white red and black so it's got all kinds of creature removal that Chishiro doesn't have with uh, you know red and green so this is a very strong deck I actually I, I the more I play it the more I like it so after Ishin we've got uh, ways of giving our creatures haste uh, anger one red three colorless haste as long as anger is in your graveyard and you control a mountain creatures you control have haste that's going to be good for the Eldrazi that we're going to pull out later. Fervor, one red, two colorless creatures you control have haste. And uh, Royal Assassin, I've got him in here because, like I said, black, white, and red. They've got all kinds of creature removal. So the way that I built my deck is it just has all kinds of ways to kill everybody's creature. The plan with this deck is to make such an oppressive uh, situation for all other creatures uh, of your opponents that they just simply can't keep creatures out. Royal Assassin is uh, good for that. Tap them, destroy target, tap creature. If you watch my other video, I talk about how this uh, little guy uh, really kind of changes the whole uh, dynamic of the game. What, you know, what he does is once he's out, you know, people don't want to... Uh, play their creatures and like I said the, this with this particular build I'm basically I've got all kinds of removal spells and removal effects to take out everybody else's commanders and creatures and just really just keep wiping the board I've got Kiku in there she uh, can kill just about anything she's she's actually uh, one of my favorite cards if you watch my other deck decks, I talk about how she's able to kill Blightsteel Colossus, Death Touch creatures, uh, that type of stuff. So next, uh, we're going to get into the uh, the cheat cards, Thran Temporal Gateway. Uh, there's all there's so many artifacts and legends in this deck that you can just cheat them right into play with this guy. Four colorless, four tap it. You may put a historic permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. I also use this in my Atraxa deck to flash in Planeswalkers. Quicksilver Amulet, same thing, four colorless, four tap it, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. We're going to play with these because we're going to try to ch uh, cheat these big creatures in uh, like Eldrazi that then get double um, effects from Ishin. In my last video, I talked about Isareth the Awakener. I, th that was just kind of a cheaper build to have some type of reanimation effect. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to replace her, if you have them, with Eldrazi. Uh, Ulamog, the Infinite Gyre, would work well here. It's got a, a dialer trigger of four. And with Ishin, that's eight. You know, you, you get to destroy eight permanents every time uh, uh, you, you're El you know, um, Ulamog attacks. So we'd replace her with Ulamog. Vampire Nighthawk, we would replace with Kozilek the Butcher. Same thing, Annihilator 4. You'd get Annihilator 8 with Ishin's ability. 
clamor shame and we'd pull him out and put uh, path razor in path razor is annihilator three so with ishin you get annihilator six robber of the rich this is a good card but you know if you have the budget it that betrays would fit in here maybe better and uh, that now we've got another way to cheat creatures in ill harg the raised board. This guy is really, really good, and he's not uh, very expensive. It's basically a, a sneak attack on a stick. Um, you know, you, once you put this guy out and you start sneak attacking creatures in, you know, with uh, big ETBs, you're going to be creating that oppressive um, environment that I was talking about earlier to kill everybody else's commanders. For two red, three colorless, Ilharg, the raised boar has trample. He's a 6-6. Six, six. Whenever he attacks, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. Guess what? With Ishin, that doubles that, so you could go with two of them. Return that creature to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. And then he's very hard to get rid of. When Ilharg, the raised boar, dies or is put into exile from the graveyard, you may put it into its owner's library, third from the top. Very fantastic card in this deck. Allows you to put out two creatures instead of one with Ishin's ability. Meteor Golem. That's one of the creatures I was talking about with the ETB effects. If you can pop him out with Ilharg, you could kill so, uh, the, the, an opponent's toughest permanence that they have out there. You could and start dialing back somebody's ability to cast spells. Archon of Cruelty also works well with the Raised Boar. Two black, six colorless flying. Whenever he enters the battlefield or attacks, target opponent sacrifices a creature, a planeswalker, discards a card, and loses three life. You draw a card and gain three life. Uh, guess what? When this guy, uh, so when you, you cheat him out, you're not going to be able to get the uh, effects that Ishin can double, but. Uh, you, you know, if you cheat him out with Ilhark, his ETB uh, could be very devastating every turn, ETB, and uh, your opponent has to uh, lose a card, sacrifice a creature, and lose three life. But if you cheat this guy out or put him out with, the, with some of the other ways I'm going to show you, once he starts attacking, again with Ishin's ability, everything he does doubles. So you'd get to uh, draw two cards, gain three life. The uh, opponent would sacrifice two creatures and discard two cards and lose six life. So very, very good in this deck. Next, Dracuseth, Maw of Flames. Uh, same thing. This guy's got an attack trigger that Ishin can double. Again, creating an offensive, you know, a very oppressive environment for everybody else's creature. You're just going to be killing everything that's on the board. He's a 7-7 uh, seven, seven flyer. Whenever Dracuseth Maw of Flames attacks, it deals four damage to any target and three damage to up to two other targets. So that's doubled. So instead of four damage, that's eight damage. Instead of three damage, that's six damage. You can just spread that all around. You, you see where this is going. There's going to be so much damage from this deck flying around that you're going to be killing everybody's commanders, everybody's creatures. It's just it's it's just going to be um, it's just going to be uh, apoc apocalyptic for your opponents. Smuggler's Copter with Ishin's ability, you get to draw two cards and discard two cards. Varigoth Blood Sky Sire. I think this guy would work really well in this deck. Um, I actually uh, replaced Esper. You, you could potentially replace Esper, centered, uh, Esper Sentinel with this guy because Esper Sentinel draws you a bunch of cards, but Esper Sentinel is uh, pricey. So, you know, if, if you don't want to spend $25 for Esper Sentinel, you could get this guy for just a couple of dollars. And again, he has uh, attack triggers that Ishin can double for you. He's uh, one black, two colorless, Varigoth, Blood Sky Sire. He's a legendary creature, demon rogue with death touch. He's got boast, one black, one colorless. Target player searches their library for a card and shuffles their library and puts that card on top of it. 
activate the, this ability only if this creature attacked this turn and only once each turn. So with Ishin's ability, you should be able to tutor up two cards and put them on top of your library. So in some ways, better than uh, Esper Sentinel and much cheaper. And there it is. That's the card I replaced with it. This 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 card's very very strong in its own right. Also, I mean, if you could have both, then then yeah, then go for it. Vengeful Ancestor. He has a very good trigger with Ishin, two black, two colorless flying. Whenever Vengeful Ancestor enters a battlefield or attacks, go target creature. And whenever a goaded creature attacks, it deals one damage to its controller. So with Ishin, you're going to be able to go two uh, creatures. You're going to go the two biggest creatures, and it's going to be they're going to be attacking your opponents and not you. And when that creature attacks, you will be doing two damage to its controller. Ember Wild Captain, very strong in this deck. One red, three colorless. When Ember Wild Captain enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. Whenever an opponent attacks you while you're the monarch, Ember Wild Captain deals damage to that player equal to the number of cards in their hand. With Ishin, that doubles. If they got three cards in their hand, they're going to get uh, burned for six. If they've got four, they're going to get burned for eight. If they've got a huge grip, they're going to get burned for 14. So this is a very, very good card in this deck with Ishin's ability. Brutal Horde Chief. I'd pick some of these up. They're not too expensive. One black, three colorless. Whenever a creature you control attacks, defending player loses one life and you gain one life. So for each creature you have, your opponent will lose a life and you'll gain a life. But with Ishin's ability, that's going to be doubled. This guy also helps kill you know, other creatures on the board with his secondary ability with uh, red, white, red, white, hybrid, and three colorless. Creatures your opponents control block this turn if able, and you choose how those creatures block. So you can, you know, fi fix the blocks to where their commanders and other uh, creatures die. There, there's so much removal in this deck. It, it, your opponents aren't going to be able to keep their commanders out, and you're going to just be, you know, destroying all of their creatures. Just like with this card, Flame Blast Dragon, two red, four colorless, five, five flyer. Whenever Flame Blast Dragon attacks, you may pay X, uh, red, and X if you do. Flame Blast, Blast Dragon deals X damage to it, target creature or player. That's doubled with Ishin's ability. So if you got six mana, you, you're tossing a a uh, five damage fireball but you get to double that so again you're, you're you're wiping out planeswalkers wiping out commanders wiping out everybody's creatures and burning their face sun titan his ability is doubled with ishin and whenever he attacks you get to grab two permanent cards out of your graveyard for command converted mana cost three or less very good in this deck and of course, uh, this is the more advanced play, Aurelia, the war leader with Ishin. You, you, you get, you'll get three combats with her. Uh, two other good cards to put in this deck would be Combat Celebrant and Godo. Because if you're, if you're going to have Aurelia war leader in your deck and you've got ways of drawing cards and tutoring for cards, you could actually tutor up uh, you know Godo or you can use Godo to grab Helm of the Host or you could grab Helm of the Host after you tutor connect it to Aurelia the War Leader and you've got infinite combat steps. Ishin allows you to get three with her but if you put the Helm of the Host on her you've got infinite combat steps. Sky Sovereign Council Flagship with Ishin's ability again when it comes into play, you get to bolt something. When it attacks, you get to fire off two two lightning bolts. So that's uh, six damage. Again, like I said, you're going to be slinging around so much damage that it, people are just going to have a hard time keeping their their commanders on the board or any other problematic creatures. Parhelion 2 with Ishin's ability, and you can cheat this in with Thran's Temporal Gateway, or uh, and then once it's out, it it. It, this is a very devastating card. You know, uh, like I said earlier in my other videos, you, you swing once with this and it's 21 damage and you've got four angels with vigilance that can now block. And then 
next turn, you know, two rounds and somebody's dead, but then you've got, you know, eight angels with vigilance out there. Very good card in this deck. Like I said, the more I play this deck, the more I, I really like it. I, I, um, I'm, I'm convinced. I, I, you know, at first I didn't, I didn't get it. I have to admit, I didn't get the hype up with this, with this, with this commander, but I do now. Atali Primal Storm. This guy is strong. Two red, four colorless. Whenever Atali Primal Storm attacks, exile the top card of each player's library. Then you may cast any number of non-land cards. Exile this way without paying their mana costs. You know, if you're playing in a pot of five or six or seven guys, and um, you know you, you get this guy out and attack with Ishin's ability, you're going to let's let's say there's five other players other than you. You're going to get you're going to get ten cards. That's backbreaking. You know, you're 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 going to be grabbing all their permanents, and you're going to be you know maybe using their own removal spells against them. Very very good card in this deck. Card door, Dune Scourge, one ra red, one black, two colorless. Again, you get the goat creatures. So if you keep ETB in this guy with Ilharg, you'll just keep goading creatures and, and everybody will be attacking each other and not you. And Ishin, the last uh, sentence says, whenever an attacking creature dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Well, that's doubled with Ishin's ability. They'll be losing two, and you'll be gaining two. Uh, this this is a very cheap card, Nephrox, Overlord of Grixis, two black, four colorless with Ishin. You could attack with just him, and he'll be a 6-6, six, six, and then the defending player has to sacrifice two creatures again. Like I said, you're going to be slinging around so much death and destruction, people aren't going to be able to keep their creatures out. Health, Upfire Hellkite, two red, six colorless. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, put a 6 6 red dragon creature token flying on the battlefield with Ishin. That's going to be doubled. You put it, you put this guy out, and let's say he's the only dragon out there. You swing in with him, boom, you get two 6 6 red dragons. Next turn, you, you attack with all three dragons, and now you double that. Now you put six down, and it, is, it just spirals out of control for your opponents after that. Triplicate Titan, we've got this guy in here. Uh, as a blocker, he can, uh, uh, he's a nine ball and uh, he has flying vigilance and trample. You can cheat him in with Thran's temporal gateway or with the Quicksilver amulet. Oh, and, and once he's out, he's he's got flying vigilance and trample, so he'll be able to block for you. And then when he dies, he basically creates three, three, three creatures, one with flying, one with vigilance, and one with trample. Score of Kerr Ridges. This guy is a pyroclasm on a stick for one red, one colorless. He deals two damage to each creature without flying. Uh, and you can, you know, you can keep uh, ticking that up with uh, two red, two colorless, four damage, three red, three colorless, six damage. So again, you're going to be creating a situation where nobody else is going to be able to keep any creatures out on the board. Uh, and he, he also kills flyers, one red, five colorless. He deals six damage to each other creature with flying. You don't get any buffs or, or uh, help with Ishin, but still a very strong card. And now we get to the bomb portion of the deck. Sword of the Animus is going to trigger twice with Ishin. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, but whenever equipped creature attacks, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, tap and shuffle your library. So you're going to be able to be grabbing uh, two um, basic lands every turn so you put one down put two down you're dropping three lands per turn and that's going to help you power the the, the bombs that you're going to uh, see coming up next and this is one of them black blade reforged this thing is a bomb uh, the other night I played this and one of my opponents uh, just happened to mention you know hey this you know this that's such a good card two colorless and three to equip to a legendary it comes out of nowhere for five mana you get to play it and equip it and now you've uh, you've got a huge monster uh, you know coming uh, downhill at somebody uh, it works really well with sword of the animist and sword of the animus is going to help you power your other bombs luminarch essentially could be a bomb if you play it early it, it it's really good you'll start popping out angels late game if someone board wipes that's when you play this 
but then also if you've got a bunch of land or a bunch of ways to make mana you can uh, create you know tens and tens of angels and just start smashing everybody all over the place Vito Thorn of the Dar uh, Dusk Rose he's a bomb because he gives all your creatures life link until end of turn and whenever you gain life target opponent loses that much life so you, you swing in with a bunch of creatures and it's a bomb Here's another bomb, a Chroma's Will, one red, three colorless, choose one. If you control a commander as you cast a spell, you may choose both. Creatures you control gain flying, vigilance, and double strike until end of turn. Creatures you control gain lifelink, indestructible, and protection from all colors until end of turn. So, and what, what you're going to do with this deck is, you're just going to play Ishin and pretty much just leave him off to the side so, he, so you can, you know, use his abilities. So this is a bomb because it, if you've got a decent uh, board state and you play this, your creatures are going to get flying, vigilance, double strike, lifelink, indestructible, and protection from all colors until end of turn. It is a bomb. Somebody is going to die with this, maybe a couple of people. And the way that you power some of these bombs is going to be with mana geyser. Two red, three colorless, add red to your mana pool for each tap land your opponents control. And what that's going to do is, and Smothering Tide, same thing, it's going to make you so much mana that you're going to be able to power some of these bombs, like Crackle with Power. You know, if, you, if, you, if you've got a lot of mana, you are going to be... Uh, crackle with Power says 2 red, uh, XXX, Crackle with Power deals 5 times X damage to each, up to X targets. If you get a mana geyser or a big huge smothering tide and drop this you're going to be wiping out uh, people off the board angel of destiny another bomb two white three colorless double strike whenever a creature you control deals combat damage a player you and that player each gain that much life so what 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 you do with this is you attack all your creatures get lifelink so does your opponent but he doesn't gain any life you gain all the life and then if you're at 55 or above in your life total at the beginning of your end step if you have at least 15 life more than your starting life total each player angel of destiny attack this turn loses the game so that is uh, a, a big bomb speaking of bombs here's Gisela the way you play her is uh, you know if you got a bunch of mana you have a board state you don't even have to attack with her you could just play her and then swing out and everybody uh, deals double their damage so flame blast dragon gets double fireballs sky sovereign gets six damage lightning bolts instead of three and then when people attack you they only get half the the damage or half the damage on your creatures the Chroma's Memorial, another bomb, you play this and then swing out, catch somebody off guard, you nullify all black and red players, creatures you control have flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste, and protection from black and from red. What this allows you to do is just to attack at will, black is basically screwed, and you, even if somebody's playing white or blue, all of your creatures have vigilance and first strike, so you're going to be able to attack at will, and not, they're not going to be able to hit you back. And then here's another bomb, Vorpal Sword. What it does is one black to play it, two black to equip, and equip creature gets plus two, plus so it has death touch. Three black, five colorless until end of turn. Vorpal Sword gains whenever equip creature deals the combat damage to a player. That player loses the game. So with your mana doublers I just showed you, you can play this bomb, swing out, and destroy somebody. So there you have it. There's the more advanced combo plays with Ishin. Uh, the more I play this guy, the more I am impressed. So we're going to sign off here from beautiful Hawaii. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and uh, we will see you again soon on the Commander Script. I actually love making these videos, so if there's anything we can do better, please let us know. Also, we have contests. Anyone that subscribes... Uh, get, has a chance of winning a new Capenna box and also any uh, Patreon. If you sign up for my Patreon, you're going to uh, win a, get a chance to win a box there too. 
you're going to have a better chance of winning a box with the Patreon. I, I, I don't have any uh, patr patrons right now. But um, anyway, this is the Commander Script signing off from beautiful Hawaii.